In this video, I briefly wanted to talk about uh, some of the learning paths for learning Octane for Houdini. Right now, admittedly, there isn't really a huge amount of up-to-date content for Octane for Houdini. And while we're working on that, uh, in the meantime, I wanted to just share a few great resources to help you go deeper and solve any issues you might encounter. First, I'd highly recommend to head over to the Octane Discord, join that, and check out the Houdini channel there. I think it's probably the fastest way to get help from me, other members of the Otoy team, and other users. It's a great place for quick questions, feedback, bug reports, project help. And if it's a bug, um, we'll try to get it fixed as fast as possible. If it's a future request, we'll take it really serious and, and see if we can make it happen. But the Octane Discord is a really a great place to interact with us and other users. The Otoy forums are great for more detailed posts, like longer questions, bug reports, feedback that might get lost in the chat. But you'll also find release notes there, the version history, update announcements, and that kind of stuff. Another place I'd really recommend is the Silverwing YouTube channel. He produces amazing content for Octane, um, specifically for Cinema 4D. However, a lot of that knowledge transfers pretty well to Houdini. Obviously, some of the UI is different, but most of the nodes are the same in the material network. A lot of the settings are the same. They're just in slightly different places. So as long as you're uh, generally familiar with the Houdini plugin, it's a really great place to learn about new features that are added to Octane, for example, and how to implement them in Houdini. I personally have learned a lot of things from the Silverwing channel and was able to transfer that knowledge to the Houdini plugin. Documentation can be a little bit lagging behind the releases, but it's still helpful. And what I would recommend is check the Houdini docs, and if something's missing there, maybe check the Cinema 4D docs, because they've gotten a little more attention, and some of the things that might be missing in the Houdini docs might be in the Cinema 4D docs and might transfer over to the Houdini plugin. We're working on building out more Octane for Houdini content on this channel, especially around areas where the workflow might be a little bit different from other DCCs, cover common situations and setups, and share updates on new releases. If there's something you'd like to see covered, feel free to reach out or drop a suggestion in the comments. Thanks for watching and happy rendering.